Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to this hopefully helpful vibrato series. We are on um, adding some rhythms today, and if you can add this to your practice this week, just turn the video on. I know vibrato is a pain in the butt to do, but just do this exercise with me for two minutes, and you'll be done. And then next week we can work on going a little bit faster. But um, you know, our body just has to learn how to do this weird movement. And we're going slowly so that we can eventually go nice and fast and keep the finger joint nice and loose. We've worked on some videos over the last few, few weeks to loosen up our finger joints. So if you're feeling like you need a little bit more of a review on that, just go back um, and look at the previous couple weeks or so. And then you can come back here and we'll do this exercise together. So we are at 50. And I'm going to just move this a little bit so that you can see my arm. And if you can do this with your eye on the mirror as well, if you have a mirror in your space, have an eye on me and one eye on the mirror <laughs> and see if we can do this together. So we're going to start with using the arm. We're going to open the arm back. And when we do that, it collapses that joint. And then we're going to close the arm and it rolls that joint up. So if you watch again, open down, close, up. Okay, so my wrist is staying still. And I'm not death gripping or anything. It's pretty light. Press down, relax. That's how it feels is in the relaxed position. So you're very lightly on the string for this little exercise. Okay, so we're going to do about a minute of just back and forth with the metronome. So see if you can match me. We're gonna just stay at this speed for a little bit. We're gonna just stay on the first finger. And I'll show you a different perspective. If you look, my finger is along the side of the instrument. It's not off to the side here like this. It's right on the side. Oops, and my thumb is just nice and relaxed. All right, we're gonna go twice as fast. One and two and one and two and. By the way, those of you with long arms and long fingers, you might be hitting this, right? And one of my students and I were talking about this the other day and he said that if you bring your elbow more in, right, it takes your finger away from this here. If you're on the second string, I'm on the viola today, so I'm on the D string or on the violin, the A string. Not that it really matters, but you can kind of experiment with where your elbow needs to be and maybe you can stop hitting the side of the scroll there. Okay, so let's shake it out. We're gonna do second finger. All right, just take a breath, stay relaxed, do a little shoulder circle and let's put our instrument back up. Let's find your normal playing position. All right, normal playing position. And you can leave first finger down or you can just pick it up, but don't let it fly away too much. Let's go ahead and press down, press, relax. That's where we want to be. So the finger's kind of just half on, half off the string for right now. You can hold the violin or viola if you need a little extra support. We're using the arm to pull the finger back and roll the finger up. So you have one movement. And then this is the result of the movement. And while we're going back and forth here in kind of a quarter note speed, this joint here is one of the keys to a really good vibrato. If that joint's really sensitive and very loose, let's go twice as fast, it can respond to the tiniest movement, right? If it's locked, not so much, but if it's relaxed and with time and practice, it'll really loosen up. So let's do a few more of these back and forths. And we're 
we're gonna go to the third finger. So just go ahead and pop your third finger down. You can keep your fingers down if you wanna try and see what that's like, because there's gonna be times where we need to put multiple fingers down at the same time if we're doing a chord or a double stop. Or you can just let them lightly lift off of the string. Okay, oops, I'm going twice as fast. Let's go back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. And remember that we're not going to press down too much. Let's go ahead and go twice as fast. One and two and. Make sure you're just moving here for now. We're gonna keep it very simple, right? Vibrato can become more complicated, but let's just keep it really simple. And we're gonna go to the fourth finger. So a little break, catch your breath, um, do a shoulder circle if you need, and drink a little sip of tea. <laughs> let's go ahead and, and find the fourth finger. So walk up to your fourth finger, find where your elbow needs to be so that your fourth finger is not doing this, but it's doing this. You see the elbow can help you with that. And we're gonna just go back and forth. Thumb is staying still where it normally is, right? It's hanging out with the first finger. And I'm gonna make sure that I relax the muscles in my hand, my thumb, because it's easy to like kind of add extra tension. But let's just relax. Right, so if you want to watch that, here's a tense looking hand. I'm pressing. My hand is rock solid here. And now I'm going to just relax the muscles right here. And now it's a little easier to move. All right, so that is our little vibrato practice together. I will see you tomorrow in your practice if you practice tomorrow. We'll do the same exercise and keep doing this every, every time you practice this week and I'll see you next week for the next step. All right, baby steps, darling. <laughs> Happy practicing.